Good morning, everyone. Um, thanks for coming. Um, I only have five minutes, so <coughs> I will be very quick. <coughs> okay. um, <coughs> currently, I'm the director of a lab for uh, scalable data information system uh, in, in this UTS level research center, Global Big Data Technology. And, well, um, sorry, I have to be quick. I only have five minutes. <coughs> Uh, well, right now, many people are talking about uh, well, big data, right? Data science, or, uh, data analytics, or business analytics, right? For example, UTS uh, recently set up the data science as a research scene, and we also recently established the Global Big Data Technology Center, and we focus on uh, big data uh, technology research. Well, as the, um, mm, as the um, uh, cited or said by the Alibaba Group president, um, data is becoming equally important like petrol, uh, in, uh, as a resources, okay. But Alibaba Group is uh, people say that's a uh, Chinese Amazon, right? But actually, beyond that, um, in during uh, at the price, the people ask why Alibaba Group is doing many things. They are doing e-commerce. They are doing now football game. They are doing movie, and they are also doing um, uh, <clears throat> third-party payment. So they are doing many things because they say Alibaba Group is a data company. We have data, that's why we can analyze the different markets. That's why we are doing different business. So as you can see, the data is a, the, has become a, a very important resource in this society. With the data, you can do many things. But, well, it doesn't matter what data we have or how big it is. At the end of the day, it has come to value, right? Without the value, well, no matter how big the data is, we simply throw it away. So, People will then, from a business perspective, people would ask, what can business gain from big data, right? So what can business gain from big data? Um, based on my experience, because I have an ARC linkage project with the retail business. So from the retail business perspective, um, what can they gain is actually to analyze data from different retail business for uh, more custom or for better custom. For example, uh, for flight booking, and previously, um, and the supermarket, previously they look out the data by themselves. Now they move on to cloud, uh, or they, they are trying to collaborate with each other. Then we can analyze the data from flight booking and the supermarket to identify new customers. For example, for those guys, for those customers who often shopping in the evening, we should recommend the evening flight to them. Okay, for those people who have never, never shop in the morning, we should not recommend morning flights because they, that's their lifestyle, okay? So if you recommend the morning, they will not buy. So that's, that, that's the thing. So from retail business, simply speaking, analyze data from different sources to get more customers and better market recommendation. So now from research perspective, because I'm a research, and this ATN is a network of five universities, right? From research perspective, so what's an effective way to maximize a big innovation, because big data is a very much application-oriented area. If you say you are doing big data research, but you don't have data, that's not convincing, all right? So how to get data? How to go? So, so my understanding is that the big data research has to be application-driven. So we have to get the problem from real business. We have to get the data from real business. But as you know, industry or business people don't like to share data, right? So <laughs> research is easier. Why should I share data with you? So, my, so I have thought of this for a long time. And then the final, I find the way is to, um, as you can see, this is um, from the uh, Andrew, and that's a course you are found now by the chief scientists, right? So who are in data, who are in the future? So we have to get the data, we have to research a problem from the real data. So the, so the, the effective way is to work with the industry, solve their problem, and then you can access their data. If you don't solve the problem, I can't tell Baidu, I ever contact several companies, they say, well, we think about it. Why should I share data with you? But now, if I solve their problem, that we can access the data to get a real problem from real world. And then that's, that will be able to improve the innovation because with strong applications. For example, currently I'm working with a, a cloud community company. They are hosting uh, accounting data, okay? And more than 200 
80 terabyte of data. So we are uh, we'll collaborating with to get to analyze the accounting data to better improve the company cash flow or to, to find out the after night analysis, for example, duplicate claim. Okay, that's, that's what we are doing with one company. That we are going to put a lot of ARC linkage project with this company. They would allow to invest $110,000 per year. Okay, so I'm, I'm now setting up a collaboration with, uh, with a lot of supermarket. That supermarket actually is a very traditional company. They have many branches, but they don't have online. I mean, they are off because they have website, but they, have, they don't have significant uh, online system. So we are trying a lot of that to move from offline to online. For example, they ask, uh, uh, we can access 200 million or 300 million uh, shopping records, but that's real data to classify their customers. For example, this is the baby family. Okay, this is middle class family. And then we make a recommendation, products recommended to them, okay, baby products to the baby family. Okay, middle class, or some people are high class, some families are frequent shopping, okay? And a lot of things that we are analyzing data about uh, to predict the discount market. For example, for next week, we put 10% discount. discount. Should you pay 10% discount or 20% discount? So 10% discount, what's the market? How much? Right? So if we put 20% discount, discount, how big the market is? So we are we are analyze their data. So so that's why by that way, so my understanding, the research in big data area should work with the industry. Okay. So <clears throat> two questions um, from the, the big data from business perspective. The question is very simple: What can business gain from from the big data? So I talk to many companies, government, the same thing. Government say, Junjun, you say big data, data, and you need data science. So what? What can I get from it? Right? What can I get from it? What can I get? So, so there's a, for, re, for retail, my, my experience is very probably is limited, not like uh, you guys. Because for, for the retail business, that's, that's a real, real happening because we can analyze different real data business data to help them to get more customers from each other. Okay, for, for the researchers, what's the best effective way for researchers? Because research now that we have many public data sets, right? But most likely, those public data sets on the internet are out of date. Okay, so we should work with the industry and then uh, how to work with the industry, solve their problem, improve their, 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 their productivity. Okay, then you can access the data, then you can get a real problem, and then, then theoretical solutions so you can maximize the innovation. So that's my understanding. Thank you very much.